So, okay, so I want to get back to, like, growing up in a household full of creative people. Yeah. Because your brother paints, too. Yeah, my brother paints. He's an artist. And so... My sister, too, Sarah. She, oh, nice. She's an artist, and uh, she's been doing some digital stuff. I know my brother, he's been going to school and doing more 3D animation. Yeah. Um, or something. And uh, my little sister, she just started doing watercolors. Nice. And then my niece has been painting... She's been working on paintings a lot too, so it's kind of cool to see, you know, this this lineage of artists. Like my dad, I think he was like the first artist in the family to kind of just be an artist, you know. He yeah. Kind of yeah. drifted away from his family and was just like, I'm so glad that he did that because you know, just like as a kid, I was like, yeah, I want to be an artist. You know, you know, my dad, he was probably like. I don't know if you want to be an artist because <laughs> artists Cause it's are tough. poor and we're not, you yeah. know, I'm not thriving. So I don't want you to be a poor artist like me. <laughs> so you went to high school, right? So let's, let's jump there, I guess. Are you, are you taking any art classes or anything at this point or? Yeah. So ninth grade, I remember, um, they finally, you could take an art class, you know? Hmm. And so, I was kind of a dropout student. I didn't really like doing anything else in school. And so sometimes I'd ditch the whole day and go build little stick villages under a tree. <laughs> and then once art class came around, you know, I, I would go to school for one nice. class and then ditch the rest of the day and smoke weed and hang out with friends. And, like, it wasn't really – I don't know why. I just uh, I just didn't feel like I belonged in, in high school. And I didn't have the money to go to dances and look good. And I had really – shitty clothes so yeah like you kind of get stuck in being a stoner because you're of your class you know like you're not really able to hang out and go snowboard and do all the things these kids are doing you know mm-hmm. you and where were you were you growing up in california yeah okay. uh, i grew up in a visalia and okay. farmersville okay like pretty much like it's a mostly hispanic town a lot of immigrants come there to you know pick fruit and stuff and like mm-hmm. that was crazy because you're one of the only white kids in the, you know, the, yeah. the town, you know, and, um, uh, but yeah, a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends are Mexican there. And then when I moved to Arizona, I'd go to a high school, had to repeat the ninth grade. And then like the Navajo, they kind of befriended me. The white kids were a little like kind of uppity and I didn't really fit into like the high school culture. So all my friends were kind of just like dropouts or, you know, just kind of like the, the un, right, <laughs> undesirables yeah. or something, you know. <laughs> did so? Did you end up finishing high school or? or? Um, I went to I went to a continuation school, so I nice. got my I got my like what GED or mm-hmm. what do you call that? Yeah, GED. I yeah. Think. So yeah, I did I did finish kind of you know in yeah. some way. So what were you doing after that? Were you did you you'd already started painting at this point, right? Or? No, no, I didn't start painting. I was a uh, after that, I think, um, I don't know, when I was a kid, I, I had like a paper route, so I'd, I would fold papers at four in the morning, go out, throw papers, go collect the money every week or something, and then about 15, I got into like polishing diesel trucks along like I-40 in Winslow, Arizona, mm-hmm. so I was like buffing, buffing diesel truck rims, and then I got my first job at 16 in a kitchen in Winslow, so I started doing dishes and then moved up to like prep cook and then by like 18 i was like the head line cook at this restaurant you know so i just thought kitchens were kind of my life you know for a long time and um i thought i was going to be like a chef for a while and then you know got into doing like construction or like i did fiberglass like installation oh wow that was really weird because you're going in and like putting all this fiberglass up spraying fiberglass you're getting like just shreds of fiberglass in your in your eyes and fingers and nose and like were you not wearing protection or anything well you can but i mean at the end of the day just like there's just so much of it just like even if you have you know mask and this on it's still it getting still seeps into everything in yeah, yeah. And the fiberglass it sticks into your skin you know like yeah yeah you can't really wash it out you know? yeah um yeah i put all the it's not the same obviously but all this insulation and 
and it would still oh yeah the r r30 yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) you're like very familiar oh yeah i know um but yeah i i vaguely know what that's like a little bit um so when did you start painting and like what what precipitated you to yeah really take on the mantle of, of like being an artist um, was there an event or, or did you just, was it like the, like the song you were talking about with, yeah, with Frost? I, I think looking back, um, you know, one of the last jobs I had was work, working at Taco Bell for like two and a half years for like five something an hour, you know? Yeah. And, uh, every day I'd go out and like smoke a cigarette on my break and like, you know, try to draw and just like when you're working, you just don't really have time to really draw and do art. You know? Right. Right. And so. Um, I started going, I think I was working at Borders at that point, and uh, I went to, like, this festival called uh, Earth Dance back in, like, 2003 or something. Mm-hmm. And I started going to little raves, and, and um, so going to a festival was the first time seeing, like, artists, you know, at this thing, and I brought out sketchbooks, and so then I just started doing, like, renegade live painting, you know, like, yeah, I, yeah. I think I started painting in, like, 2003, so I was like 23 years old, kind of like late, but I've been illustrating my whole life. And so painting, I started doing graffiti and painting when I moved from Arizona out to California. Mm-hmm. And I just realized like there's this whole, there's this whole culture going on here. Like there's, there's, there's raves and there's this and there's that. And I missed out on growing up in Arizona. And, um, yeah, I think that, uh, graffiti and, and painting like, Van Gogh is probably my first painting teacher besides my father like my dad did window painting so right. I learned a lot from him taking a foam brush and doing like little pine needles and you know painting Christmas windows and signs and like buffaloes and so my dad was my first kind of art teacher and then Captain Mark from PBS okay. Captain Mark and the Draw Squad he would come out and show you how to draw boxes and how to shade them and uh, Bob Ross I wasn't really into painting then so like drawing was more my thing mm-hmm. and um then van gogh like i when i started when i first started painting like painting like impressionistically is just my still is my go-to like that's yeah, how i yeah. start everything it's just like color form light shadow you know just do that first and then later i'll come kind, of, kind of expand or clean that up if i want to but yeah 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 so impressionism kind of was my gateway into painting and i started painting like downtown the fox theater i like painting like blurry lights and kind of recreating like what van gogh might look look at these blurry lights these neon lights were my first thing i was really into painting and um yeah i think that uh painting at like little little house shows like raves and stuff right it really helped me to like i don't know just like you're you're able to to like really relax because you're at a party everyone's having fun you're you're chilled out, you're rolling, you're painting, and then everybody's watching me paint. And so I learned how to just like, um, as I'm painting, I'm just like, people are watching me. So how to just keep making, making marks and just pretend like I know exactly what I'm doing (laughs) and never, never hesitate, you know? So I've learned through, through people watching me, just don't ever hesitate and just keep going forward. If you fuck up, that's fine. But at least you didn't have to sit there and look back and contemplate and make a little mark and these aren't very yeah, yeah. it's not very exciting to watch somebody right, like right. hesitate you know yeah yeah. and so i don't know it just kind of forced me into this like real expressionistic like action painter where i'm like this is fun to watch you know and i yeah. really wanted to create like this show of like you know so when people are watching me they're like wow look at this guy go it's just boom 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 so you you kind of took like your dad's like sign making thing and your well, mom's my, like my dad, the, theatrical my, thing. And yeah, like my dad, them. he's he's real like, he's real expressionist where he does like a lot of quick, quick, loose lines, you know what I mean? And just like kind of capture like the, the vibration and the, the feeling in, in that and like not making it so perfect. So that's a lot of the way I paint too is just like just real energetic, you know, and I want to show these energetic lines and not really clean that up too much. And, you know, um, yeah, I think uh that the vibration of of the painting you know comes through but i also do love to like get super hyper rendered on things you know like right. and just be able to kind of go back and forth between you know crazy chaos and 
clean, orderly, you know, 